Hey guys, I got a pretty neat video for you today. I'm going to show you how to put CalTopo layers on your Garmin GPS, and it does work with both my uh, new Garmin 66i and my old 2012 Garmin Oregon 450. And if you're like me and just kind of prefer the look of uh, those CalTopo maps, maybe you've got a certain layer that you're accustomed to using at home when you're planning your trips, well, you can now transfer that to your GPS and see those same CalTopo layers in the field, which is awesome. So let me show you how I did it. Okay, so this is my CalTopo map of the Grand Enchantment Trail, which I'm going to be hiking in a few weeks. Uh, so what we're going to do here is switch over to the layers that I like to use, which is the Scan 7.5. I like to add about 25% of the enhanced layer. And then I also like to use slope angle shading, which I'll show you in a second. We'll just kind of zoom in. I'll show you what the map looks like without the slope angle shading. And let's go ahead and enable that shading. For me, it's a great visual. It just makes the train stick out that much more. And it's just a little bit easier to, you know, to quickly visualize how steep things are. And I like this layer. I want it on my GPS. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to go over to print. And then you go down to Google Earth. Garmin GPS and click the download KMZ or MB tiles file. Okay, so now we're in this other window here where you can basically set the areas that you want to export to your GPS. In my opinion, if you're navigating in the field, you want your map to show the most detail as possible. So we're going to change this target zoom level to uh, 12,000 here. So basically anything within this red box here is what gets exported to your GPS. Now one thing to keep in mind is that uh, the type of account you have on CalTop will determine um, how many tiles you can download here in one download. So if you have a free account, you can only download 256 tiles uh, in one download. But that just means you need to make the box a little bit smaller. So it's really not the end of the world, it just means you're going to have more files on your GPS to enable and, and disable. So with the free account on CalTopo, you can download 256 tiles, which is, let's see, quite small really, um, something like that. With the basic account, it's 800 tiles. So that's about, so that's about that range. And then with the pro account, it's 3,200. Also note, when the box gets a little bit larger, you see this red warning pop up here. Most Garmin GPS units will not work with KMZ files larger than 100 images. Um, I haven't tested this on my old Garmin Oregon 450. I have tested it on the 66i, and this is not true. I don't know what the limit is, but it is more than 100, so you're fine there. I suspect it's with older units like Etrex and things like that. So this is the trail and I'm going to kind of move it by holding down this dot and then you can kind of drag this box wherever you want it. Now the thing about this box is that, you know, it, it, it can only take the shape of a square, unfortunately. So it, you, you really have to do this in segments. You know, you can't just trace a line all the way around the trail because it needs to be in like, you know, like a square or rectangle shape. So we have to do this in segments. I'm going to do all of this at once here, and then I'm going to come back and then do, you know, draw a square around this section here. That's going to be, you know, a whole nother uh, map. And in that way, um, you know, you're kind of keeping your file size down in these. You can turn these maps on and off in your GPS. Um, I'd probably do it all in one map if I could, but that's just not the way this is set up. So we're going to stick with this box and export it. So now you're going to click download KMZ and then you're going to save the file wherever you want. Now we're going to go ahead and connect the GPS to the computer. Okay, so now we want to transfer this KMZ file you just created over to your GPS. So double click it, go into the Garmin folder, go into custom maps which is basically the same as this one, but we're gonna transfer this one over here. And that's it, now that file is on your GPS and this CalTopo layer is available to select and use. So let me show you how you access that on your GPS. 
So now we're back in the GPS and I'm going to show you how to enable this layer that you just exported to the GPS. So wherever your maps, wherever you configure your maps at, for me I go to my menu, map setup, and configure maps up here at the top and click custom maps on the Garmin 66i. And then we're going to select uh, the file that we just added, which is uh, Grand Enchantment Trail 1. And then you're going to hit enable. And it's enabled. Sometimes it takes a second to refresh itself. And there you go. You can see the map that we were viewing on Caltapo, the same layer, is now on your GPS. And if you notice at the 0.8 mile uh, scale, this layer kind of goes away. So you have to be zoomed in to at least the 0.5 mile scale or less in order to see the layer. So I'll back out one layer and there it goes, it's disappeared. So if, you know, you might put it on your GPS and think, hey, it's not there, you know, what happened? It's not working. You gotta zoom in to at least the half mile scale. So there you have it. Now you can take your favorite CalTOPO layer, put it on your GPS and use it in the field. If you found this video useful, please hit that thumbs up button, give me a like, shoot me a comment if you got anything to add, and please subscribe if you haven't already, that way you can stay on top of all my latest video updates. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.